Hello everybody and uh, welcome to episode 37 of my YouTube video series and today we're going to do a full project review of the continuum. I've actually done one earlier uh, which was a shorter version based on what information we had at that point in time uh, last month in March but uh, recently we have been able to visit the sales gallery and seen the show flats and also the specs and finishes given by the developer. We also have received more information by the developer. So this presentation, this YouTube today is a full review. Of course, we're going to try and repeat some information uh, that we have shared earlier as well to provide a full review. But today's video is going to have a lot more than the one that we did last month. Okay. So let's start with an introduction of myself. Director of Alpha Marketing. Uh, incoming supply in Johor. This is good. Thank you all. I am writing a lot thank you for attending today's presentation on this kind of Malaysia. So my name is Ryan Ku. I am a Malaysian. I am a Singapore PR. I've been based in Singapore for a long time now, since 2009, so more than 10 years. <laughs> I'm married. I have two kids in Singapore, a Singaporean wife, and <laughs> I'm a property investor first. I own real estate in Singapore, Malaysia. I'm most known for talking about Iskandar Malaysia. You can see me talk about my favorite topic, Iskandar, as well in this YouTube series. Um, I do a lot of presentations for people such as Property Guru. In fact, I spoke for Property Guru just about a week back. In Marina Bay Sands, I write articles for ST Property, for uh, the H Prop. I've done a lot of events as well for them in Singapore and Malaysia. And uh, today I'm also an ERA agent and uh, I'm going to share with you the continuum today. So uh, as, as a disclaimer before we proceed, right, all information here of course is uh, accurate at, as at the time of presentation but subject to change without prior notice and of course it's, uh, we obtain this information from ERA, from the project marketing of the developer uh, as well as from public inf uh, information sources. Okay, so the continuum is a freehold project, the probably the largest freehold mega launch we're going to get in Singapore this year. 816 units is a lot, right, for a freehold project, especially normally freehold projects in Singapore can be quite small, those boutique boutique projects which are not really investable uh, in Singapore. But 816 units because uh, this developer, Sunway and Hoi Hub, Sunway is a conglomerate from Malaysia. Hoi Hub is, of course, a local Singapore developer. They normally team up in Singapore and they like to do this model where they buy up all freehold projects and they convert it into condo today. So actually this one, Tiam Siu Avenue, uh, is actually a collection of bungalows, right? So they bought over all these old bungalows and they built to build this project right on block, okay? So pretty prime location if you look at the map here, the one map one. So Tanjong Katong is probably the quite heavily used traffic road, right, uh, where there's two petrol stations, I think Esso and Shell, when you head down south towards the, the Katong, I mean, for those of you who are familiar with the east, you will know what I'm talking about, is that, that direction of road, right, it, it's sort of not very far away from Dunman Road, right, so that gives you access into Dakota, right, where it's the nearest MRT, which is the Dakota MRT, roughly 800 meters away, so there are three MRT stations nearby, but none of it next to your project. Right, nearby but not next to you. Okay, so Dakota, 800 meters away. Uh, if you go up north, there is Pai Lebar MRT. You go down, there is a Tanjong Katong MRT. Tanjong Katong MRT is from the upcoming East Coast Line. Should be ready next year, if not the year after in 2026. Right, so this is where we are in terms of location. Let me try and show this to you on a Google Map perspective. So if you look at the Google Map perspective, uh, Continuum is over here, right? So there's actually a public road and this Tiam Siu Avenue will remain a public road owned by the government, but developer will more or less like try to take ownership a little bit in the sense that they will take care of, they'll put in new trees and stuff because this road almost become like a semi-public private road, right? Because it's going to be used almost exclusively, I guess, by uh, the residents of the Continuum. So the Continuum actually is land plot on the north, right? On the north side of Tiam Siu Avenue. And there's also a south side, of the, the project, right? So this, this is a very unique project in the sense there's a north and a south separated by a public road in the middle, but there will be a link bridge which I will show you later, which is the unique unique bit about this project, right? So, and the continuum as the name implies actually refers to a uh, blend of traditional and modern. We'll go into that later. So, but location. Yeah, so this is a uh, Hague Road. Yeah, as I, as I said, you are, you are more or less bounded by Hague Road and Tanjung Katong Road, right? And if you go up north, as you can see, it's Kinex and the Greater Paya Lebar area, including Paya Lebar MRT, Kelang Serai is here not too far away. If you actually go towards the east, you actually can walk into the Juchet Shophouse area. Actually not far, no? If you think about it, you come out here, right? You walk to the 
all the Juche shop house uh, actually is hardly, I think, two, three hundred meters away, which is quite walkable, right? If you think about it, right? If you go down south, then actually there's a number of schools, including Tanjung Katong Secondary, Tanjung Katong Girls School, right? Actually, the important one that most people want to is a Kong Hua, la, which you are within one kilometer. I think that's quite important. Kong Hua is a school that a lot of people want to get into. So uh, and if you go, if you go down south, it's actually Katong, and south, southeast is the Katong, the greater Katong area, la, right? Which is uh, quite uh what what desirable place that most people want to be right of course southwest is the landed area landed housing area which is the south of diamond road area so in that sense right i think for a large freehold site the continuum has a pretty good one or as good as you can get right uh in the market today let me drop a pin to show you where are you so if you see the human these two petrol station right if you if you see this two petrol, petrol station and i don't know whether it comes to mind where are you this two petrol station go down that toward Tatong area and Pungo Nasilama. I use Pungo Nasilama as, as a reference. I like Pungo Nasilama. I think it's not that bad. Right? And if you go north, right, it's Payadeba area. Okay? So this is where we are uh, in terms of the Tanjung Katong side of the continuum. Right? If you go towards the other end, which is towards Haig Road, right? This is the, the HDB on Haig Road. Right? Go up here is towards Kinex, the mall. Right, go down south is towards the uh yeah Katong area as well. You can cut through, you end up in Juche actually. Right behind is actually all Juche. That's why you don't see any high rise. Right, so Tiamsu Avenue by itself, right, actually is just a public road. Right, I will show you Tiamsu Avenue because most people probably rarely drive through here. And you see today, right, based on Google Map old video, right, actually all old bungalow. It's not old bungalow, old bungalow. But developer is actually keeping one for purposes of convert uh conservation as a clubhouse. I will talk about that later. Okay, so all these are old bungalows, right? Which the developer will destroy <laughs> and build. But one of it will be kept, right? As a clubhouse. And I think it's a unique part about it. If you think about it, right? You don't have a chance to stay all these old bungalows. Right? Very few people in Singapore come from a family where they can inherit or stay in one of these bungalows. But if you buy it in the continuum, you can enjoy staying in the preserved, conserved, uh, one of, uh, conserve, conservation bungalow here, right? Which is conserved for you by the developer for this project. Which I think is, yeah, this, that's a unique way to think about it. To enjoy a conservation bungalow in a modern environment okay so this is this is where we are uh, let's go back to our slides okay talk about schools first because for schools important question so these are all the schools within one kilometer and two kilometer i think kong hua is the one that tops the list right taunan within 2km chig katong primary also within 2km uh secondary schools there are quite a number within the vicinity Dunman high of course i think sits high on the list in terms of preference okay okay let's go into project details a little bit right so site is quite big almost two hundred and seventy thousand square feet which is quite large you are almost getting two condo project size land uh, right in one project so the continuum that got north and south uh, the north and the south on its own uh, can represent a project on on its own so freehold uh four tower blocks right so there's something called signature which is the the standard version Right, four blocks, and they had a prestige, which is a two tower. So the prestige is the so-called more high-end one with private lift, and normally the bigger units there. Like, I think they have the three, they have a three plus study, I think, and and above, right, are uh, within the the prestige version, right, with the private lift. Okay, so uh, one conservation bungalow. This represents the uh the the clubhouse. Right, and one overhead bridge, I will show you how it looks. It looks pretty fantastic, right? So 816 units, and then the car park also 816. So one to one car park, which is a big plus point. Those people who drive definitely enjoy this because nowadays a lot of people who can afford this type of projects, luxury high end, will have one car, maybe more, right? And two full basement car parks. Uh for so there's a basement car parks, uh two levels on the north and the south. Okay. So this is the facade. So they're gonna go with a timeless full glass facade because I think now facade the concern you know like you look at condos now there's some of those which, which, which were built 20 30 years ago they look very old very jaded the design already become uh not nice to see right but so continue is going to go with a full glass facade they're going to show that a full glass facade might uh, will probably be more timeless and uh, appreciated even 20 30 years from now you take note that this block is the what they call the prestige block that sits on its own and this block here is going to be the these two blocks are going to be the signature block with where the sky bridge uh will be okay so some of the unique selling points so as i mentioned earlier this is the largest 
probably the largest mega freehold launch in 2023, in, probably, yeah, in the whole of Singapore, right? Don't even say the East, right? The whole of Singapore, right? Um, this photo that you see here is the overhead bridge that link the North and the South, right? Uh, it's iconic in the sense that, yeah, this, this overhead bridge is iconic. I think in Singapore, you probably will not see any project with this feature, okay? And residents can enjoy facilities both on both ends, right? Uh, the full glass facade, which I mentioned earlier, and Tiamsu Avenue, they're going to make the road wider, right? And these are, if you see this Google map location, these are all the old houses which they are going to convert into the continuum itself, all right? So Tiamsu Avenue, the road itself, while remaining a public road, the developer is going to upgrade it, make it wider and do stuff to make the, the road sort of like something that you, uh, the private residents uh, will enjoy a lot. Okay, so the bungalow, which is the Tiamsu house, which they're going to conserve it, Right, so it used to be house number 21, Tiamsu Avenue, will become a clubhouse. Uh, more details on that later. There will be another clubhouse on the south, which is the modern version. They're going to call it South Side Social. So north, there's one house, clubhouse, which is the conserved bungalow. South, there'll be a modern version called the South Side Social, right? And this South Side Clubhouse will be connected through the link bridge to go all the way to the north. Okay, uh, two entrances. I'll talk about that later. And the project uh, massing is all north-south facing. So all the units will more or less be north or south facing uh, in this project. And of course, one-to-one -one car park, which is a big priority today for people to drive. Okay. Uh, lots of facilities. I'll show you that uh, later. Okay. And one interesting thing, because this project is a uh, not a government land sales. That means it costs a block, right? So they're not subjected to some of the new rules that government require in terms of the use of... Uh, uh, what you call that, uh, prefab housing. So because of that, uh, there are some benefits I'll show you later, right, in terms of how to knock down walls, uh, okay, to make your room bigger and different, okay. Uh, two sky decks, uh, one on the north, one on the south, right, uh, and these are some of the views given to you. So there are facilities on the rooftop, right, on both sides, north and south, right, including, uh, I'll show you later, there's a full list, right. Okay, this is the, some photos of the sales of the show flats, right, for the uh, users of the finishers. Uh, basically, they're going to go with uh, uh, engineered stone countertops, right? Uh, flooring will be porcelain tiles, large format. For the signature, for the prestige one, there'll be marble flooring, right? And uh, the, the carpentry work here done is very nice. Uh, lots of use of uh, glass, lighting. Uh, go and take a look, right? And uh, kitchen appliances, I think, include <coughs> um, Visa, Samsung, Franke, um, yeah, I think, yeah, it's quite nice, I think, and, and you know, fridge provider, washer, dryer, um, and uh, gas, hot, normally for the three beta and above, below that will be induction, uh, quite standard. They're going to give a ceiling fan, <laughs> right? So I think all the units will have a ceiling fan uh, in the living dining area uh, to help with airflow as well. Okay, this is the iconic private bridge. So you ask me, Ryan, if this is a public road, right? Does it mean that I have to walk out on the public road to get to the other side. I mean, you can do that. There are internally four, four side gates for you to do so, right? Uh, one at the entrance, one more to somewhere on the other side to walk up and down. But uh, there will also be this uh, overhead bridge, right? It is not sheltered. I, I, I don't quite... I didn't get quite information why they are why it's not sheltered. I would have preferred it to be sheltered. But basically, from the north side, you can there's you can take a stairs. Otherwise, there is a so-called like a ramp where you can cycle or push yourself up, push your trolley up to here, cross the overhead bridge, right? And then you walk or you will have a nice view of the pool on the south side. And then you reach to the south side, uh, what do you call that? Uh, clubhouse. And then you can take a lift or stairs to go down here. So that's the idea. It's going to be iconic looking. Let me have some photos. Yeah, so this is a photo from the scale model perspective, right? Uh, something unique in Singapore, right? Where you have a north and a south connected via this this iconic private bridge, right? Which is something I think, <laughs> yeah, quite unique, right? I don't think it's going to be so unique to the point where something like Interlace or like uh, Marina Bay Sands kind of unique, but still within unique within con Singapore context, right? You will never see this anywhere <laughs> in Singapore. When we first heard about it, we were asking, huh, how is it going to look like this? It's going to be something very different and it is something very different. Okay, some other photos of the private bridge. So, in terms of views, uh, unfortunately, you may, you may, Ryan, you may ask me, asking me this question, Ryan, uh, how are the views for the units, right? I I took a look and I think you can't really escape it. Uh, north and south, if you directly look out, I think there's going to be a number of block views, right, from the blocks op opposite uh, you, 
right? Both on the north and the south perspective. But if you can look towards the east or also the what towards the west, I think they are fairly unblocked towards the east and towards the west. But also because of the sky garden, right, which is available on the north block as well as the south side, right? The sky garden should be tall enough where you can see pretty much over your neighbors. Right. So unfortunately, if you're going to buy a lower mid floor, I think your view will not be, you will not have much view in terms of a far distance view because they're going to be blocked by opposite blocks opposite you. Right. But the sky gardens definitely will have pretty great view, uh, like how they are showing in these photos uh, over here. Okay. So in terms of uh, setback, so you may ask, ask, you may ask a question, since that I have neighbors on the north and the south, how far are they away from me? The distances are pretty respectable. So 19, 20 meters, which is I think quite standard for here. Uh, for the for the prestige block is further. Some of these blocks are about 15, uh, 15, 16 meters only, which is yeah, still a little bit too close for my liking. But I guess these blocks will be so uh, cheaper since they're going to be nearer, right? Uh, and these ones will probably be a bit more expensive, I guess. So it, it all depends. Some stacks are not so good like this, this block here. Right, but some stacks are definitely much better for in terms of uh, distance from block to block distance. But whatever this, all units are block uh, are facing north south, which I think is good from a feng shui, uh, feng shui perspective. And the other thing about the continuum is also that because of the way it's designed, I think most of the MNE rooms substation are all underground. Uh, you won't have the you will not have a problem where your unit face substation or face rubbish shoot. Right, this kind uh this will not exist in the continuum. Everything is underground. Uh, for this in the basement, which I think is uh, one problem solved, right, uh, in the continuum. Okay, so two clubhouses, so the Tiamsu North House, which is the conservation bungalow, and uh, they will kind of have some Peranakan design team here. And the modern clubhouse, which is the South Side Social, will be at the South. For the dinner parties, dinner parties the karaoke room uh, will be at the bottom over here. Okay, this is the modern clubhouse, so two clubhouses. Right, this is a photo of the conserved Tiam Siu house. Right, so this is an indoor photo. You can see how they've done it. So it's going to be like a library slash club room, right? And a, people, a place for people to hang out. Okay, on the south side, it's going to be a, a more, uh, more modern with more entertainment stuff. So there'll be karaoke rooms. Uh, function rooms for again for cooking and stuff and social rooms. This is basically a, a function room for 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 activities uh, for social activities, right? So sky facilities. So they have drawn here. This is a north and a south. So there's two sky decks, right? So the sky decks you will see there's uh like the north one they have a resting lounge, a roof bar, and a north gym. So let me show you what a roof bar is. It's like a private bar, right? Where you have this room to enjoy with a mixology table, wine chiller, okay, and you have views outside towards the CBD, towards Kalang River and the stadium, right? This is on the north. So you also have a north gym. So your gym will be on the rooftop, okay? Uh, very cool, right? Looking out as well. And there's a resting lounge, which is just a private chill out area with a nearby a barbecue pit as well, okay? So towards the south, they similarly have a sky club and a south gym, right? So the sky club is like the dining area, Again, on the rooftop, I want to remind everybody, as per the photo, something like this, right? And the south gym, we also have a smallish gym looking towards the south, uh, towards East Coast Park, right? Uh, over here as well, it comes with an inbuilt toilet, okay? So this is the zone, the, the slide for the facilities. Um, a little bit overwhelming. I don't know whether I want to cover everything with you here one shot, but uh, I think if I didn't highlight this earlier, there are two entrances here. So one entrance over here on the north, one entrance over here on the south. This, I'm talking about car entrance, right? So two car entrances. So if you live in the north, you park through the north entrance. If you live in the south, you park through the south uh, entrance, right? So six blocks, right? right the side gates are, are two internally here. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. And then there's a fifth one. Five, the fifth one is here towards the direction of Kinex. Okay, so... Um, you have playgrounds here and here for kids, right? This is the 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 overhead bridge. Uh, there's a thirty three meter lap pool and a fifty meter lap pool, and then these are all the play pools are uh, where the depth are shallower, you know, for for splash pool and for kids, right? Here they have a so called like a fun pool where you can drift towards the end. There's a water aqua gym over here, right? Um, what else? 
yeah, multi-purpose. This is tennis court slash basketball court, right? And and they have all the uh, barbecue barbecue pits uh, sprinkled all around the place. Okay, so quite a long list. I think this one is easier shown on the site on the sales on the, at the sales gallery. Okay, so yeah, as I mentioned earlier, so there's two different um entrances, right? The north and the south have two different car park entrances, right? Uh, these are some photos of the pools, right? As I mentioned, there are two lap pools and a number of uh relaxation pools. This is the photo of the clubhouse. I think we've seen this earlier. Right, play zone, so two different play zones, one north, one south. So like a developer, as this project, right, they have to do, in a way, they have to duplicate everything because there's a north side and a south side. In case they worry the residents don't want to go too far, they have to do one in the north, one do one in the south. Right, uh, these are some photos of the sky terrace, right, from the rooftop decks just now. Right, so you have some, you also have minor pools there and uh, some outdoor areas. Okay, so in terms of project elevation, um, you can see that the prestige version, which is the high end one with the private lift, right? They have three plus study, four bedroom premium, and a five bedroom. Okay, so only big units in the prestige block, which is the number two and number five, right? The signature, which is the standard version, they have all the sizes from one plus study until four bedder also, right? But this four bedder not as premium as this four bedder. I've seen the floor pants. Okay, but you still have four beta here. But this one is about 1,002 square feet plus one. Okay, so uh, if you look at the breakdown units, actually quite a good breakdown units, right? Uh, from one beta to five beta in terms of the breakdown units over here. So the one bedroom per study, which is normally the investment grade unit, is 560 square feet, right? And this is the, yeah. Okay. So let's go through floor plans a little bit. So this is the one plus study. I will show the one plus study. There's no show flat for this, but normally I like to go to, to show the one plus study because this is the most simple layout. And maybe there's a lot of investors in this, in this watching this who were interested to buy the one plus study because normally the one plus study is investment grade product. So you enter. Now, one thing about the continuum is that all units have what they call a storage space, right? It's just basically a small storage area, which I think I appreciate that the developer tried to do this because nowadays storage space is getting harder and harder to get in new launches because uh, project sizes are shrinking, right? And you have a kitchen, no yard, then you where's the storeroom? Uh, there's really nowhere to store anything. So even this one plus study has a storeroom uh, over here that you can use, okay? And you see this floor plan, right? Um, now notice, right, they have highlighted here in the red line, right? Which are the walls that you can break, right? So you can notice that this wall, uh, um, the developer say you can break. To combine master and living, right? Then you effectively become a studio, right? Another one is to whack or de destroy the wall between the study and the master. So you effectively make your master bedroom bigger, right? Uh, which is also an interesting option, okay? So uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you remember what I said earlier in this video, this project, because it's not a government land sales, the developer has flexibility to use a lot of non uh, precast and when they do non precast they can have these walls which are optional to you to reconfigure into the layout that you want okay so this one two plus study 721 square feet there is available show flat right so again similarly i want you to take note that there is a storage area given by developer extra one yeah so although no yard but you have this storage area for this size they are all induction uh induction cooking there's no gas for two bedder right and if you look at again these walls you can remove. So the bedroom two and living can be removed, right? Or this wall between the study and bedroom two can also be removed, right? So you combine the study bedroom two or combine the bedroom two and the living. There are a lot of options here. In fact, the master also can remove the wall, right? So it's a lot of uh, ID options that come out suddenly, right, with all this thing. And I think it's one of the plus points, major plus points of continuum, right? Maybe not so obvious to the naked eye, but to people who want to configure the space to their liking, I think this is it. Because in typical other projects that we sell in Singapore, a lot of these options are not available. But in the continuum, uh, these choices are there. The ability to knock down walls to get the living space requ uh, requirement that you need. Okay? Dumbbell layout. This is a typical dumbbell layout. Okay? There's another show flat, which is the... Uh, 1087 square feet, three bedroom premium. This one is uh the standard go in, then all the rooms to the right on one side design. So similarly, again, okay, there is a storeroom. This one's in the kitchen for one difference. 
right? And you notice here, the in this case, this wall you cannot whack lah. You can see this wall is you cannot dis you cannot destroy because it's thicker, right? But you can combine bedroom three with living or combine bedroom two with master, right? Again, notice some of these interesting combinations here. <laughs> Right, uh, the kitchen is enclosed with a fixed glass panel, which and, and this 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 sliding door is provided by developer. So for three bedroom and above, then you get the gas hob, lah, right? And I think they provide the oven as well. Yes. Okay. Now this layout, which I think the developer had to say the best three bedroom layout you will ever see. <laughs> I, uh it's because they have a three plus study. This one is in the, the the premium prestige one, so it comes with uh, with a uh, uh private lift. So private lift come in here. If you notice. There is a uh, study over here. So the study, uh, ex existingly, I think there is uh, no wall, right? This study. But you can put up a wall if you want to make to, to so-called enclose the study. Otherwise, you can leave the, the study combined with your living or combine the study with your master, right? Which is this wall can be removed to combine the study with your master to become a walk-in wardrobe layout, right? So this study can go combine with master or combine with living or you have a separate study also can, right? And the other place that they want to talk about combining typically is the bedroom two, bedroom three, right? Can also be combined, right? You can remove this wall in the middle if you want to. So this is where they, they like to push up this layout because of the, the various conversions that you can do through the through moving all these walls away, okay? Uh, there's also the five bedroom layout, right? I'll let it rest here. I think it's easy for you to just pause the YouTube and look at this at the floor plan if you like. If you if you really want uh, all the other floor plans which I'm not showing here today, uh feel free to contact me. I'll send you the full floor plan list. I think there's no time to go through all the floor plan, it might be a bit boring also. Okay. But again, you'll notice like in this case for the five bedroom, right? Uh which they have a sh show flat for this, right? You can combine the bedroom five with the living. This wall is removable. Okay. Uh they do have a junior master with his own private bath. This can be guest room. I personally don't like the fact that there's a junior master on the other side near the kitchen, right? I mean, if I were an owner of this unit, I'll probably convert it into some form of entertainment room. That's more logical, I would think. Okay. I doubt guests will really, really stay in this room. It's a bit weird. Okay. But yeah, but I'll probably convert this into an entertainment room, right? And you will notice that the master has an exit into the wet kitchen, right? And there's a separate exit here for uh cleaners helper and and you know to remove rubbish that doesn't disturb the flow in the main living area when entertaining entertaining guests okay so i think this this is the way they've done the layout quite interesting five bedroom layout as well the four bedroom also premium also something like this just that less one bedroom over here right for those of you who are looking at the four bedroom uh the four bedroom premium layout is similar to this just less one bedroom over here. Yeah, I, I'm going, I'm delving too much into the floor plan details, but like I said, if you guys are interested in the floor plans, do, do ask for it. I think it's 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 good to see different floor plans in, in this project, right? Um, because sometimes you see so many projects where we see a deal where all is a carbon copy of each other. <laughs> but the continuum is a bit different in that sense where the floor plans are quite flexible. Okay, uh, this is a list of fittings. Um, they're pretty standard, I think. Uh, but the good stuff, like I just mentioned, for the prestige version, you will have enjoy marble flooring, uh, in your units, which is the step up for the prestige version. Of course, the private lift, which is also a very important factor. Okay, for these are the bathroom finishings they're using Lawson, uh, Gassy, right? Pretty nice. Okay, uh, ceiling fan provided as I mentioned. There's the photos are not very clear on how the ceiling fan looks like. I think it's pretty good. Uh, if you like the ceiling fan, you can. I, I found the location to be a bit odd. They, they always put it somewhere between the living and the dining. So, <laughs> like my wife said, don't know what the fan is to, to the fan who. Okay, but I think it's a small problem for ID. You can move the fan to somewhere which is more practical where you feel you're going to use the fan. Right. Uh, smart home features are uh, standard nowadays for all projects, right? Uh, so, there will be a, your master, your main door will have its own pinhole uh, Wi Fi camera to look out at the residence. Uh, which also acts as your doorbell, typically the same device. Uh, you have a smart digital uh, door lock. Aircon can be controlled through applications uh, on your phone, right? And there'll be some app also to control who can invite into your house uh, and also monitor parcel delivery, things like this. Uh, also booking facilities. Yeah, this, this I think you will see in today's new launch, uh, some version of this one way or the other uh, in all new launches today. Okay. 
digital lock set. Yeah, this is the, the camera doorbell, right? Um on the on the door. Okay. So price. <laughs> okay, let's come to price. Price is uh something that I guess everybody always want to uh know. Now <clears throat> um it's not gonna be cheap. Okay, let's be frank, let's be honest. Uh, it's not gonna be cheap, right? This is the recommended price matrix or estimated price matrix from the develop from ERA slash the developer. Okay, so we're looking at below uh maybe uh, as high as three thousand per square foot, right? Uh, possibly higher for the for the premium stuff. So uh, undervalued, I guess the the way ERA looks at it is below three thousand, right, per square foot. Uh, prices definitely will start from two six hundred and above, right? So I just show you here. Did I show for the four bedroom? Um yeah, yeah, I'm only showing here for the one to three bedroom. I didn't show for the four and five bedrooms, right? But you can sort of like guesstimate a little bit if you're gonna buy uh in the range. I developer, I don't think will push pricing too hard. I part of it I think will depend on how Tembusu Grand sales are. I think Tembusu Grand will do well, easily will sell half 50% of Tembusu Grand will be sold on the first weekend. I think we will probably go as high as 70% or so in Tembusu Grand. And if Tembusu Grand does 70%, then I think developer is going to maintain this kind of price matrix. And anyhow, in our experience in Sunway, Hoi Hub, this developer not new, uh, they will be in no particular rush to sell. So they will maintain this price and, and it will not be uh, cheap. But um, if you think about it, as I mentioned, to buy a freehold large format, large size project in Singapore, there's no choice in Singapore today, right? Really, um, I mean, if people ask me, Ryan, I want to buy freehold, I want to buy East, what else can I look at? I mean, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing, right? Short of buying small boutique projects, but small boutique projects, come on, I mean, who, who, who buys a small boutique project in Singapore, right? Um, Very difficult, right? You only buy a small boutique project if you really, really die, die, buy their property and stay there for a long, long time, right? And you love the project or, 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 you, or you die, die, have a budget and you don't think about long-term consequences then you buy a small boutique project. But if you want a project that you have retained value, can transact, can sell in the future if you need to, right? Valuation will go up reasonably, uh, follow market or better. I think you don't have a choice, right? Continuum is the only one uh, there is right, and I I I don't buy the the story about leasehold perform better than freehold, right? I I freehold where sure per over sure perform better than leasehold in the long run, right? The question is, uh, Singapore government don't sell you leasehold, don't sell you freehold new launch anyway, right? All these are on block, right? If there's no on block, you will not get freehold, right? So in that sense, the supply is very limited. It's probably the next best thing next to uh, lender property, uh, in in Singapore, right? So uh, not cheap, but Bopian, right? So the one bedroom plus study that you buy here, 1.5, 1.6 million, right? It's going to be equivalent to a two bedder for a 99 year project. So if you if you were to go to the Musu Grand or maybe Grand Dunman in the future, you can probably get a two bedder for this price. But in continuum, you can only buy one plus study. I think that's fair. Right, I don't think it's a unfair statement or uh, to say that the Musu Grand or Grand Dunman is better or Fujian is better. But in that sense, I think it's a fair trade off. If you want freehold, you take a smaller one, one, one tier smaller size, which I think okay. I think that's a trade off. A lot of people are willing to accept or at least appreciate this. So this is the the price matrix, right? And subject to change, we may this may change as we enter uh to the later half of April, uh or towards the launch. But yeah, I think expect anything from two six and above, right? Uh, for the continuum. Okay, so why buy the continuum in case? There's too much to be shared here. So largest freehold development in the East, the mega launch, right? There are people who buy property in Singapore and spending millions. They want to make sure they preserve the wealth that they don't worry 10 years later, oh, there's this degradation I need to sell, right? Whether I make money or not, I need to sell because of this, this degradation. So wealth preservation is important. The super rich in Singapore all do this wealth preservation, right? They, they put money in the property, freehold when they can for wealth preservation. You have downgraders. People who are downgraded from big landed property, children will move out, or they need to sell the, the big landed property because the children will stay in the old freehold property. So they downgrade into something uh smaller. But they can afford all this, right? Uh because they're sitting on wealth. And they will buy projects like this, right? Like the continuum. So if if you are that, right, then continuum is for you, right? Uh another reason, of course, the unique architectural features, right? Like I said, the private overhead bridge, probably the first 
the only one in Singapore right now, linking the north and the south. Two Sky Gardens, again, uh, very rare. Normally, one project only have one, right? Uh, the upgrading of the Siu Avenue, that's also very different, very unique. We may have a very different looking Siu Avenue uh, in a few years from now. Restoration of Siu Avenue as a clubhouse. I mean, like I said, you buy a condo, but get to enjoy a conservation clubhouse in this, prop in this project that you're staying. That's something, a plus point. If you think about it, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, that's a nice plus point for buying the continuum, right? And <clears throat> design features, um, signature and prestige, north-south, block facing, large number of facilities due to the large area, one-to-one -one car park ratio, uh, facility in combining rooms due to the layout plan, smart home features, smart storage, all, all units have smart dedicated storage room, uh, m and &E room all in the basement, so you don't have to worry about facing trash bin or facing uh, uh, electricity substation, right? And of course, the green mark means a low energy, uh, low energy usage for, for project that you're staying here. Um, in, uh, in case I didn't add that slide, this continuum is targeted for completion around the uh, early 2027. So that's about, I mean, it's right now, uh, just about, about four years. From now, which is reasonable, I think all, a lot of projects launching this year will be OP in 2027, right? In case I didn't answer that earlier. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Uh, if you like it, do let me know. I, I would suggest, uh, even if you're going to buy a property, maybe still need some time, six months, one year from now, you may miss the continuum launch, but I do suggest to come and see because uh, it's quite rare to see a project like that, right? And I, I've been telling all my clients, uh, just come and take a look. Don't have to really buy, buy if you need to buy, if you don't want to buy yet. Right, but just come and see. I think it's good to get yourself updated that or oh, there are such other things. These are the things going on in the market today. And going on in the market today. And the continuum definitely fits that bill, right? Or something that people should come and see. Uh and I'm I'm quite sure it will sell well to uh I'm I mean the continuum. Judging from I will give you more my my feel of the sale numbers once the Mosu Grand launch up. But I'm quite sure the Mosu Grand will hit 50 to 70 plus percent to Musu Grand. And when by doing so, the continuum will roughly do about 20-30% sales on new new launch. That's my feel. Uh definitely all the one bidders will go, I think, quite fast for the continuum, right? Uh and uh the bigger units will take a longer time to sell. But definitely this is a very target product for people with a certain need, right? For well preservation, right? And they want something new, modern, uh designed well in the East. Because basically there's no other option. And East projects in Singapore, if you look at the the, the number of available units in the East for sale, uh, the supply has been dropping sharply, sharply. Right. And uh, recently there's an unblock, uh, one of the condo older condo projects in Mayor. Land price per square foot thousand sixty. People tell me, hey Ryan, um this one land price high. Yeah, but recently it got higher already. <laughs> so this is a story of Singapore, right? A lot of things can go higher and higher quite fast, right? So uh, 1,004 may not be as high as you think it, as it is really. So it could be for the land price, right? So there's really a 1,006, uh, not very far from here. Uh, just on block um, about a few weeks back only. So <clears throat> if you like what we share, uh, do subscribe to our mailing list. This You can scan this QR code, uh, join our mailing list where you can get more YouTube videos from me. Uh, we also do TikTok. Uh, we're on Facebook as well in a Facebook group called uh, Malaysian Investors in Singapore, right? It's, don't disregard the name. I mean, we have lots of people there, Singaporeans as well, Malaysians, etc. If you like what I have to share, you can also drop me an email at contact us at alphamarketingsg.com. Uh, drop me some questions or you can feel drop a comment on my YouTube channel too. Uh, if you're interested to find out more about the continuum or the Musu Grand or even Grand Dunman uh, that's coming up uh, the later half of this year, or if you have any other general property questions you want to ask whether Singapore, Malaysia, resale, HTB, thank you very much for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe. Uh, to this YouTube channel and hope to see you guys soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.